Hi everyone, and welcome to this new Substance Design of 5 tutorial. Uh, today we are going to make um, another tutorial which is about uh, the Pixel processor. And this tutorial has been inspired by one, uh, one person who contacted me for a specific needs. Uh, basically what he wanted is to be able to reproject um, a decal uh, that he has placed on a mesh on, into a new mesh uh, which is exactly the same but with new UVs. So the bad news is that I, uh, we weren't exactly able to achieve this for him uh, because uh, he had no way to get the the old uh, the old mesh with the old UVs and to keep it. And so, but the good news is actually it, it's feasible as long as you have the the old mesh at least once. One, once we have done all of this, we can get rid of it, but you need it at least at least once. So, basically that's how it works. So here, for example, you have, this is the old mesh with the, the decal that I took on these textures. So you have the diffuse here. You have the decal here, and then the job is made by the pixel processor. So here on the old mesh is quite easy, uh, but the good thing is uh, with this pixel processor node we will be able to do the same on uh, a new mesh, uh, at least the same mesh but with new UVs. So let's start. So first we create a new graph. Um, two, I'm going to do 248. I hope uh, I did it once and there is lots of tricky stuff that may cause some uh, errors so I, I hope everything is going to to be fine but let's see so we're going to call it uh, transfer the girls tuto okay mm, I'm just going to keep the the base color it will be easier so, so far what I'm going to do is just to put this, it's quite shiny, so we're going to use another shader. <laughs> Let's do this way, it will be easier. So. so really sadly, really fastly, I'm going to plug some maps. We won't use normal map for this one, so I'm going to put a neutral one. And we need uniform color really fastly. So for the roughness, we don't want it to shine that much. So we are going to actually do this way. Something like that. It's not that important. And metallic. It's not metal, so pure black will be fine. This node won't be important in in this exercise, so I'm going to put them here. So first, what we're going to do is to make it it work uh, the old way. So in case you don't know how to use the decal, where um, how to apply a decal inside in a substance designer, that would be the first step. So first we take our decal. This is ones that I found on internet. Um, nothing special here. And what we're going to do first uh, is to place it on on the mesh here. So in order to do that, we are going to create an SVG node. This one is 124. Oh, that's okay. SVG node. So each time I, I, I assume you know, but I type spacebar from to do that. So I I will call it uh, <laughs> decal mask, and it's going to be 248. Okay, I want it to be grayscale because it it will be a mask. So what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to create a blend node and I'm going to plug first. Oops, sorry. 
I'm going to plug the decal and the mask here, so of course we don't see anything. And what I want to do is I double click here and then I single click on my SVG. I select the shape and I'm going to isolate, um, let's say, uh, this one, this one here. So just make a square around it. I zoom a bit to adjust. You can adjust with uh, this. For example, if you want point by point, it would have been this one. And here, to make sure not to get too close to it. So it should be fine. So now you see that it's isolated in this map here. And now, what you want to do is to move it in order to place it wherever you want on the mesh. So I double click here. I select it and I use it transform. And now I double click again here and I'm going to place it. As I say right now, you would have would have some distortion, but it's not the important thing. But before to do that, what we are going to do is a blend node like once again, so we'll see directly in the mesh. So blend node in copy should be fine. And now we start to see it here. With the transform 2D, I'm going to reduce the size. I hold shift so I keep the I constrain the proportion. As you see, we have a, a problem which is normal. And let's say I'm going to place it here. Of course, we don't want it to tile, so you go in the tiling mode here, you go to absolute, and you say no tiling. And now you have it here. For, I'm going to put it low, lower. Okay. So now, as you see, we have. I'm going to distort it a bit. Okay. So that would be the um, the classic way to do it inside the Substance Designer. But the thing is, with that you you cannot imagine to reproject uh, um, the the decal in another UV UV UV. Uh, coordinates. Why? Because you have no information about the position except the transform node, but once again it won't help. So what we're going to use is a uh, UV coordinates, um, something like this. So I'm going to copy pass because basically what I did here is just built a UV map. It's quite easy. Uh, I use a gradient linear node that I rotate, I rotate it here as well in order to use it as mask in this two nodes, in a pure green and in a pure red. Red being the x-axis of UV coordinate and green the y-axis. And then I do a blend I think in add mode and we have what we want. So I'm going to copy this because I assume that you are able to build it quite easily. If you want to take the time to do it, put pause for one minute, one second, because I'm going to continue the video. Okay. <coughs> so once again, right now we have the UV coordinates, and these UV coordinates we are going to use them as the UV uh, uh, UV coordinate from the uh, reference from this mesh. So it will correspond to. It will work with. Um, let me say geometry with this UVs. Okay, so first step will be to do exactly the same work, but except of doing it directly, it's going to be the UV coordin coordinates which are going to drive the settings. So how to do that? Well, like this. So what we're going to do is this would be replugged after what we're going to do first, if I'm not wrong, is we're going to do the same thing, but except of placing the the decal directly, we are going to uh, place the uh, the um, the coordinates. 
So quite easy to do. Actually, you just replug that here. And perfect. Now what it does, it says, okay, at this point here, um, correspond to uh, the UV co coordinates that you can find in this map. Yeah, so sorry I made a confusion. Actually we use it to refer the decal UV coordinate. But you get it. So some stuff uh, right now that would pose some problem but we, we don't see it yet is that here for example you see that the transformation 2D the filtering is bilinear and it has a bitmap mode you will see that it will make some bugs. I, I won't fix them now so you can see and I will explain the problem. So now what do we have to do is to use a pixel processor node as I told you and we are going to reproject to use this map and this decal map here I'm going to make some plays. So basically, the input zero is the the offsetted UV coordinate that we are going to use to catch the the, the diffuse the color in this map. So once again, it's kind of easy. So let's go inside the edit mode and first. We we'll remove this and. As often, what we are going to do first is to use a get float 2 here in order to catch the position of each pixel. So you use a built in variable which is expose, which looks at each point, uh, each pixel one by one, and in order to apply uh, whatever you want behind. So, first, what we are going to do is to use a sampler to sample color in order to sample the input zero which is this this one the UV coordinates from that we are going to extract uh, the U UV coordinates because once again that's what it is basically so in order to do that uh, you use a swizzle swizzle float 2 in order to isolate the X and Y axis and we are going to use and with these coordinates we are going to catch them in the input one uh, which is actually the the, the decal so once again we need another sampler color but this time we are going to take the input one which is the decal map and we set this as output node so here the problem is starting yeah, you are going to see that which is uh, let's say under control so many things that make this ugly but first I'm going to plug it so you really see that you see it works it's at the right place but there is a lot of artifacts so first what are the problems there is different ones first you have to put your uh, your output format in 16 bits absolute 16 bits in theory you see so you have gaining quality so right now the quality is way better but there is still artifacts here so how come um, first thing I have th you could have thought is oh maybe it's too close here if I look at the map and, and we select but no, you see it's not that and actually what it is is big, the first one may be here if you go in the I select the transformation 2D um, and the thing is as I say here it puts in bilinear which means it will uh, interpolate the color between uh, two pixels and we don't want that uh, simply because uh, uh, if you interpolate the color, actually you create a new color, which means new coordinates in, in our case, and you don't want that, so you make sure that you go to nearest, and it fixes some problem, but there is still a problem here. And 
once again, I think it's the meet map, which is automatic. If I put it to manual, it disappears. So it fixes our problems. Basically, you don't want any kind of interpolation um, for for this kind of maps, or for sure you will, will have some problem. So, not bad. We have uh, the first part which is working well. Um, I think I'm going to do it in two videos in the next one, uh, which will come just after. We will see how we can now uh, reuse all this work for for the same mesh but with another UV uh, UV set. So thanks for watching this first video and see you in the next one.